This place almost looks familiar, but different, like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Man alive! Well, certainly quite like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mimir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. A phantom! The Norns have a phantom! Of course the Norns have a phantom!
forms of a phantom. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. That itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you! Babbling! <laughs> Oh! That looks official. My boy. Bowser, listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Bowser, come back! Talk to me! Whoa! 
Come get me. I want none of this. Imagine them thinking I had any desire to be back on this itchy carcass. Nimir! Secret? Brother, hold off. Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did. I tried to stop him any way I could. Just lie! Nimir! You served Odin from the day you met him to the day he put you in that tree! You sought to make her. You wanted his war! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never gave a day until you turned on you! I know, secret. It's true. All of it. But for love of you, I became a better man. A counselor for peace. An ally to all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in her suffering? To Scott? To Groa? Or to Tanya? No! You all took the side of the powerful men who used it! Brother, watch out! There's more of them! Even now! You see a violent guy in me, and you can't help but aid him and call him brother. It's who you've always been. It's who you are. And it's who you are. It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Come here! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Get me all way! Why do you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! I don't want to go back! 
the test didn't feel much like succeeding i see the door has disappeared or it was never there they toy with us still what is that a kelpie don't see many of those in these parts she must be theirs will she take us to them i'll ask her nicely easy girl easy that's right good Care to talk about whatever the Norns put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> Hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head enter the home of the Norns tentatively. Finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son. son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you see what all who search for us seek to know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. No, oh. oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you called him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way, way to, to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! up! <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death. And he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. 
And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was... educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. Feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... ...will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how. You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahor. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. <laughs> I see something. Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. 
Then we agree. It would be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. Let us find a gateway, return home, consider our plans. Listen, brother, before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished Enough. business here. We go home. Now tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, you'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. You know me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah. The inevitable asking of the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear. What's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nithog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. Now, what else might there be to discuss? What else is there? You're back. They're back! Simmer down, I see them. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? 
And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need him. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do but... Go fetch Dropnir. Drop near. I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. I will just help me kill Heimdall. Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you need... You were saying... Now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. You will not allow harm to come to him. Not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we then should... it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit... the lady. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> uh. Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady? No idea what you see out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you heard him. Quit your friend. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp. Shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. What was all that then? Oh, just Sentry trying to hog off. <gasps> Same old shit. Not that. The gate. <gasps> What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in need of a lair and 
making a mockery of you. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. Don't worry, you little devil. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out. The old no! Gates did everything they could. On account of these. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? Trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. Be careful, brother. That looks flammable. Cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. for liquor and explosives. Little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Classic Aesir. Oh, all right. Might have earned that one. An abandoned service tunnel. Another oil spill. Oh, no! 
Kratos. Kratos. Sindri, is that you? Yes. I need to talk to Kratos. Please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh, dear. <sighs> it's not his fault Atreus ran off with you. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating, and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our own. These gates seem to be connected. See if you can break that far faster. Heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. That worked. Shall we? This opinion of yours. Was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok. That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take you. <laughs>
Careful! Those Grim are possessed by nightmares. They'll be even more dangerous until we stun them. Find you! Incoming poison! There's anything wrong with the disparity in size, or number of limbs, say. Nothing in the world. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. All right. Let's get that wheel turning. That's a start. Ah, teamwork.
Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. I know something. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Hair Yar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well. You have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Funky! Fine. Take your fancy dancy shorts. <laughs> Think I don't mind stretching my legs? <laughs> Catch up with you any damn time I like. <laughs> Better take out that net! Well, so much for following me. Fine. Let's see what you find.
Hey, hey! You all right, brother? <laughs> Have you know that was plagiarized when we found it? Sure it was. You sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Lucid enough when it's time to steal my kitchen, though. These butts? No wonder they shut the door. To that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering. Snake sucking mommy milk sops with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cages. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Now that we can reach it. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? of a camera the alarm drop and they were out to see you they did seem surprised all right now i can turn this crank and cap that geyser there you just give me the signal when you're ready now on it Kinda need to be up here to use it, you dig? 
Promising. Turn it. Copy that. There you go. Right on the money. Turn it again. Aye, aye. Escape. Come on through and get those cables. Seen it. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stump the stump. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam point. Ooh, that's brisk. Think I'll grab some for the lady. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of a thing. <clears throat> Hang on! I smell trouble. Hey! Calling all pets! Hey, Bartlett! I don't know what you're waiting for! I'm right here! <laughs> So this lady then, the lady of the forge, ain't a more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee high to a noken. But Sindri had never had it, said I was too uncouth. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. Why, <laughs> bro? I've never seen you so... ever and... <laughs> you nervous? What? Shut up! No! What? Go on, pasty! Turn the crank! Let's do this! It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way! Let me look! Oh, fuck no. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. Miss Lady. What does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece. 
But the one she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale. <clears throat> Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I fall drop. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. Let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. Ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand.
concentrate, you're almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless you for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! <laughs> the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. You know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a twirl. Look! You got volunteers! I felt that one from a... That's the stuff! Ain't your first time with the spear, I reckon! It is the first weapon a Spartan learns. What the hell? Ain't this just like old times, man? I'm just putting it more accordingly myself. what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. If the guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on. Might have to get creative up ahead. Ah, oh, 
lick my pussy! Cause I own them all! Get your throwing arm in here! Find you! Look out! the more you take away. <laughs> ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. Them eyeballs are taking over them ground. We better beat them out. <laughs> Old Frog will do the rescue. <laughs> You want some of this? Then come get it, Jake! Get hit, Bubba! Well, that was creepy. Hey, good eye! That would get you right up there. Spear must be talking to yourself. Figuring stuff out faster than I can teach. See? Dirty enough to climb on, swing on, whatever you need. What of Nicole's children? Put in the trap! Great! You got him! Oh, hello there. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you or anything. You did not. Right. Uh, you can bring that back to Ratatoskru whenever you're ready. of the boat, but then we can call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Oh, Betty.
ugly bugs. Maybe those Grim will take him down. Uh, nope. You're gonna pick a fight with us two sick nicks? <laughs> Seriously? Straight it is.
Reckon I see how you'll be getting down from up here. Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to get it working at work. And I'll get those gates working for you. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Never him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Good timing. Let's see what Brock made you. My friend, brother. So that's the weapon? A drop near spear? The drop near spear. Well, any given number of drop near spears, I suppose. <sighs> Come on, I found a gate. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you? Aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war. THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. So this drop near spear, you're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. Another Berserker Gravestone. You know what to do, brother. Another Berserker Gravestone. You know what to do, brother. Wait. What do you have there? Are you all right? Not the first time I've had an Aesir threaten my life. But? Thinking I'd like it to be the last. 
this is yours. Hot Sam, where did you? Yeah, this is mine. Used to be a symbol for the resistance. Worker solidarity, all that. Glad to have it back. Good reminder that we still haven't given up. Not yet, anyway. <sighs> Never expected to see this thing again.
kill the caliph. I will stop it.
in my breath over. His berserker champions even less so. Trash. A lot of them. Why wait until now to speak of them? Before, there was nothing to be done. Finding that hill changed things. Thimblewinter had worn down some of Odin's curses, but you still needed help. Was it Sigrun who helped you recover your warrior spirit? Is that how Odin liked to refer to the curse that kept me from defending myself? <laughs> oh, I suppose that is where I heard it. Would you like to know how that curse really worked? What it did to me? What it cost me to finally break it? I... I'm no longer sure of it. That's correct. Well... Seagrin must have helped find your Valkyrie wings. Were they hidden in the place I get? They were not. But yes, she did. Argued all the while I should let my anger go, but helped me just the same. A 
our widow trace get to Asgard? I'm sorry, but you'd have to ask Odin. He's got control of every path. I know how highly you esteem our expertise on such things, so I'm sure that's disappointing. He's just been one step ahead of us. Ah, with the mining rigs disabled, it seems a bit fresher out here. Not seems. Is. I... You're right. Thanks, brother. Gone by it costs us little to make sure. Really? from up here. A runic slate. It's incomplete. But you could use your chisel to finish it. Broken Muspelheim seat is now complete. We should find a mystic gateway. 
Perhaps we'll find Surtur's combat challenges. Well, he was trying to improve relations with them by sharing their magic. Enough talk for now. Be ready. Hey. Now, let's see which armpit of Moose behind that seat needs to, huh? Ah, uh, lungs! Stop all that rubbish! What? Brock's bloody riddle. What gets bigger the more you take away? I can't let that blue twat beat me! If you are this upset, he already has.
sword like this before. It holds combat challenges. Any of these challengers catch your eye? Here they come! Incoming! Above you! Fancy a warm up before making your choice. But there's more here we haven't seen. Could there be other arenas? What challenge will it be today? Coming at you! <laughs> 
to explode! No! This is yours. Fun. <laughs> 